Hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Casual Gaming by Creasel. Uh, today we are going to show you what I did with my uh, mining turtle, a program that uh, I was inspired by Mize from Mize Code Labs. Is uh, his little programs F U D, you know, his little, sort of little things that allow you to easily uh, manipulate a turtle, uh, which I did install on here. As you can see, uh, L D F U R. <laughs> right now, I gotta kill some. Uh, that are hanging outside my house, my little pool here. And yes, I'm on using a StellarCraft FDB server, so we have healing spring water. Beats eating. Kill some monsters. Oh yeah. Let's see, that slime thinks he's Superman. Super slime. What's that? Birds and plane, no, oh, it's super slime. This is what FTB ultimate should be, not unleashed or unhinged pandas, which we call restricted and back to the basics. Okay. So, let's go in our little house here. And I'll show you the program right quick. The program's called the Dig. It was originally, I borrowed the F code. And and he borrowed it from other people that's all in here, it's all documented. Created a little library, took the functionalize the refueling statements that were obviously contributed by uh, Seth Link. So that's in a function. And I created a function for digging the direction and the distance. There's basically the start of the program, like the F code that he's already familiar with. Mine uh, prints out argument uh, usage if, there, if the arguments are less than one. Otherwise, it tells us the number of arguments that were passed and iterates from one to the number of arguments and it d attempts to determine if the argument is a string or a number and if it's a string it sees if it's one of the valid things. It uh, goes ahead and it takes the first letter and then it lower cases it so it makes it easy to test it in this string sequence right here. And then we assign that, of course, to the appropriate direction, the variable direction, whatever that test was. And then uh, the distance is going to be the, uh, if this fails, of course, then it must be a number, and there it is. Or it should be a number. It could possibly be a word, so I check to see if that output is nil. If it was nil, then it's can obviously fail and this will execute. Otherwise, um, it could have been a number, in which case is the number less than zero. And this is testing to see if it was a valid, you know. Anyhow. Okay, so when, and then if all is said and done, the direction and disk are passed over to uh, Dick. Let's move our turtle. Let's go downstairs. And we'll 
just place him somewhere in my little Hogan Heroes place here. So I'm going to put him right here and let's have him turn left. And if we take a look, he's now left. Let's say I want him to say dig out three and then what is this? Like one, two, and then I'll have him turn left and dig four. Um, well, let's have him Let's have him dig out three, dig down two, and then dig up um, two, turn left, and then dig four to two. So that should bring him out probably right there. So dig. Turtle's already been filled. Uh, dig two down. Oh, wow, I got some quartz. Uh, dig two up. And of course, he doesn't dig because that's a cavity. And then we tell him to turn left and dig uh, two forward. spot mine right through the wall and got some quartz. That's pretty cool I would say. So there you go. Video response from Isco Labs. Hope you guys enjoyed it and link to this code is in my description.